Hello and welcome back to King Richard's Maths and Science channel. Your homework this week is uh, to be able to find averages from a table. So we've moved away from a list and we're putting our data in a table. Two things you'll need to remember to find the mean is the sum of your frequencies times your x value, that's the original data, divided by the sum of your frequencies. And to find the median, it's the sum of the frequencies plus 1 divided by 2. This will give you the middle value from your data. Remember, this E-type sign means sum, means you add everything up. You may remember it from your Excel in your IT lessons. Okay, so here's our table. We've got number of goals scored and the frequency, the number of games in which those goals were scored, and a column here to complete, which is your F times X, your frequency times your data. And at the bottom, we have a total column here, which is where your sum will go. Okay, so to multiply across then, we have 0 times 5, remember, is 0. 1 times 8 is 8. 2 times 7 gives you 14. 3 times 5 is 15. Four fours, square number, 16, and 5 times the 1 is 5. So we now need to find our totals. We have 5 plus 8 is 13, plus 7 is 20, plus 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29, plus 1 is 30. 0 plus 8 is 8, plus 14 is 22, plus 15 is 37, plus 16 is 53, Plus 5 is 58. So our totals here, the sum of our frequencies is 30, and the sum of our frequencies times our data is 58. Okay, so to find the mean, we have the sum of our frequencies, which if you recall, was 58, and the sum of our frequencies is 30. So now we need to divide these two in together. So 58 divided by 30 is 1.93. So the mean number of goals is 1.93 goals per game. Okay. Now we're going to look at finding the median. What we need to do here, if you recall, is add up all of our frequencies, add 1, and divide the total by 2. So, the sum of our frequencies here was 30. The other thing to look at here is where our item is in our list. So in this column, I'm going to do what we call a cumulative frequency. I'm going to add these frequencies up. So 5 plus 0 is 5, plus the 8 is 13, plus 7 is 20, 25, 29 and 30. Okay. So the median is the sum of our frequencies plus 1 divided by 2. This gives us 30 plus 1 is 31. Divided by 2 is 15.5. This is where the value is on our list. So we look back on our table. So we are looking for the 15 point and a half value, in between the 15th and 16th values. Remember, this is because we have an even number in our list. So, for no goals, there were five values. For one goal, there were another eight, so we have 13 values. That would be the 13th number if we had a list. So if we're looking for the 15th and a half, it's going to sit in this row here, because the 15 and 16th values will be in this line, because this takes us up to the 20th value. So our median number of goals is in this row here. It's the 2 here. It's not the frequency 7, because we are looking at these goals. So for our median, the 15th and a half value is 2 goals. OK, so we found the median number of goals was 2. We are now going to find the mode number of goals and the range of the goals scored. OK, so for the mode number of goals, we look down the frequency column and so we're looking for the highest frequency we want to know the mode the most number of goals scored the highest frequency is eight so then we look a lot across to our data 
giving us a mode of one. So the mode, number of goals scored, is equal to one. We want to be careful that the median, the mode and the mean is found within our data. So your mean, mode and median should all be between zero and five. If you have a number outside of those numbers, you know you have gone wrong. We now want to find the range. This is the spread of the data. The highest piece of data, five. Take away the lowest piece of data, zero. Five, take away zero, is five, giving us a range of five goals. The next two following slides are going to be this week's homework. The first of the two is finding the averages of a frequency table, as just demoed. The second one is moving on to grouped data. You must be careful to find the midpoints before you proceed with the same procedure.